that my um, my strength is maybe task two. Task two. Yes. Okay. And my weaknesses, weakness. And I witness. Weakness, yes, is task one, but I I find it easy, but uh, the way to begin each paragraph is difficult for me. The way to begin the paragraph is yes. difficult for you. So yes. it is difficult to begin the, you have the idea, you prepare yes. the idea of what you like to uh, write. And yes. then for some reason, starting the paragraph is difficult. Well, we have two, two main uh, options that they're always um, useful. The idea is to automate this work, for example, in the paragraph, in the beginning of the paragraph. It's always good to write uh, for a connector, right? We always start with a connector in a paragraph, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we start with the topic sentence. Uh, remember that the topic sentence is what you already plan. In your plan, we already have uh, the, the reasons, the facts. Reason, global reason. So the idea is to start the topic sentence with that global reason. The paragraphs always have a mission. And when we plan the, the, uh, the writing, we always, more or less, we already have the we already have the reason for the paragraph that we are going to to develop so yeah. the, the, usually the paragraph is already planned now the topic sentence would be the global reason or the reason that i have thought for that plan uh, the, um, so I, I think that that is easy for me uh, to structure the my my work but the connector Choose the connector, choose the connector is difficult for me. Okay. For each paragraph. Okay. Because I, I was confused in that moment. And I, I spent a lot of time in, in thinking which connector I must use. Good. Now, uh, we already have those connectors. Remember that I gave you the checklist? Yes, no, I studied. Now, it, you study those connectors. Now, mm -hmm. these connectors that I gave you in this three checklist for type 1, type 2, and type 3, those connectors are connectors that we can always use. I mean, they're, 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 those connectors are not really connectors that we, we have to think about it because actually those connectors are fit for the task. You can change the connectors if you like but you can use the same connectors that we already have in the checklist in, the, in terms okay. of that for example uh, let's let's take let's talk about uh, what is an exercise that was difficult for you uh, i mean type one type two type three was it advantages and disadvantages was it agree or disagree or a simple question no in uh, maybe in the case of uh, i did agree or disagree Agree or disagree? Yes. Okay. So let's talk about the connectivity. No matter what the topic is, there are three connectors that we can use here. Certainly, undoubtedly, uh, nowadays. Now, nowadays is very popular. And it's very um, Easy. flexible. Easy and it's flexible okay. because it is. It just opens a topic very gently. Therefore, it's very flexible. Okay. Now the connectivity for here. We know that here we need three main connectors, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we can say on the one hand. Can I begin beginning uh, this uh, second paragraph with regarding? The, that, that's not bad. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's just okay. Uh, what I mean ah, is, okay. um, what we like to do is we try to address the uh, we we try to use a um, connector that would like to address the topic that we really like to touch the 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 idea that we like to express. As we have two 
different paragraphs that are more or less opposite. Therefore, uh, we would like to use connectors that really represent what we like to express as a main general idea. Therefore, that's why on the one hand is more related to what we are going to talk, because on the other hand will present the opposite statement. So that's what we really use um, in this case, okay? So on the one hand, that's the, the presentation of our global reason that we have here. Now we present it, right? And then after that, we can use, uh, for example, we can say in fact, when we write in fact, we present the first sentence of support. After the first sentence of support, we can write uh, in, adi or in addition or actually furthermore, we present our second sentence of support. Then we can write finally, right? Then we, pre we present our um, third sentence of support. So we have those three sentences of support. Now, if you think about it, it doesn't really matter what topic we're covering. These connectors work and fit perfectly. They are suitable for any kind of use or any kind of opinion that you may have. Um, in this case, uh, to illustrate, right, works perfect for the example. So then here we write the example or we present the evidence that we would like to present. Now, on the one hand, we can go with the, on the other hand. And after on the other hand, we present then the opposite statement. We present what we actually uh, thought of something different or something that is actually, if I agree, all the people would disagree. Not with me, probably but they would have other option that, that they would disagree with and that option is mo more important for them to disagree or the drawbacks, the disadvantage of this may have. Then on the one hand, then of course we are going to write um, eventually or in this case, see eventually we are going to present the opposite argument. And after presenting the opposite argument, well, in that sense, in that matter, in that sense, then we are going to validate that opposite argument, validation. And then after we validate, we also come back and just um, restate what we have already defended with something that is going to lower the impact of that argument now. Although, I have to recognize what you're saying is true. I also have to write something, say something that is going to lower the impact of your argument without hitting you, without attacking you, right? That's very important. So however, it will be the perfect connector here. However, nevertheless, nonetheless, probably however and nevertheless are well fed for this. And then you present your restatement. I mean, you restate your position. This is what we saw more or less. If you think of any of these connectors, and then we have the conclusion, right? So it's the conclusion mm -hmm. in the end. We know that. So uh, if you think of these connectors, these connectors fit in any kind of argument. Therefore, that's important to, to, to have in mind when we are thinking of this. And to actually... Uh, plan and the way we plan when we are um, developing the work. This is basically to remember. Is it then um, clear? W would it be this a good way to actually plan and automate uh, your writings in order f in order for you not to waste time when we are actually trying to develop? Because we know that we see the exercise first. I mean, we see the question. Mm -hmm. Then we classify the question into the three structures that we have, right? Yes. First, we... Uh, I write the, the, the three statements oh. first, uh, or arguments. Okay, let's, let's start from the very beginning. You receive the paper, you receive the paper, you read the question, 
Yes, I identify, I must identify the type of question. Exactly, you classify the question. Classify the question. Then, number three. Then I, uh, I decided my my way. Okay, you decide. To, my way to write the, or my opinion, or agree or disagree, yes. That depends on the question, right? Yes. I mean, if, if the question is type one, you agree or disagree. The question is type two, you you have to choose advantages and disadvantages. Yes. All the both views, uh, discuss mm -hmm. both of these views. And then if the question is type three, simple question, uh, well, mm -hmm. you decide what kind of reasons you are going to give to solve the problem or to say how this has yes. to change, etc. So then number four, we plan it. We do the plan. Yes, I plan. And then number five, and then number five, we are going to start doing the introduction, which is pretty much automatic also, right? Perfect. Very good. Now, between the moment in which we read the question, step one, to step number five, when we are finishing the introduction, no more than 10 minutes should pass. No more than 10 minutes should, uh, should pass. See, because this will leave us another 30 minutes free. I mean, with the next 30 minutes, I can go with the next two paragraphs and the conclusion easily. I can work, uh, I can be more uh, effective because I can take a little more time to think very well the words I'm going to use, the grammar I'm going to use, the sentences to keep it very congruent, very coherent to have a good progress, to have a good cohesion in your writing. And then I know what what uh, uh, connectors I have to use, therefore, this is going to make it uh, more efficient also. So what we need to look for is, I think what you need to do right now is, this afternoon or whenever you're planning, I think you, you say that you're going to study this afternoon. Yes. Yes. So, Give yourself, give yourself a half hour apart from the, the time that you have planned to do the readings and listenings, for example, and give yourself a half hour to try to memorize these connectors. Just memorize the connectors because this is going to help you, not it, it's going to help you to be effective. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, to be effective, how, how to be effective, because we have to measure two things. We need to be effective and also we need to be efficient. Being effective is about the knowledge of the task that you are going to write. That's being effective, right? You're really addressing the topic, you're covering the topic, you're solving the problem, you're, you're giving uh, pros and cons, and uh, you're, you're, you're going over the task and you're complying mm -hmm. with the task. And efficiency, being, effect, being efficient, is that we need to do this in a certain amount of time. But the thing is, we need to do this in a certain amount of time with quality. So it's like, oh, you, you only have 40 minutes, so you get a, you know, hurry up. Yes, but hurry up how? So this how hurry up, this is like how, in your hurry up, this is how. Doesn't need to hurry up also. I mean, it's been seen it's, and then demonstrated that we can really do this in this amount of time. Um, so it's, this is going to help in your efficiency. Then you are going to be efficient because you have this support that supports you. you we are going to be efficient, keeping the same quality. The, the, the idea is to keep the same quality. It's, it's a balance that we have to find between effectiveness and efficiency. This is what we need to develop. That's why those five steps before, do, those five steps from start doing the, um, oh, I got like ink. <laughs> From a start doing the um, the plan, uh, from from a start reading the question to all the way to finishing the introduction, uh, ten minutes is the maximum time that should pass. Why? Because in this form we are going to have the rest of the thirty minutes to plan ten minutes in each development and probably between eight to ten, eight to five minutes to finish uh, the conclusion and review the grammar, review the vocabulary. So we concentrate, right, we concentrate in two things, grammar mistakes and how to improve our vocabulary in some nouns, probably. If it says house, maybe we can change it and, and, and now write it residence. If it says uh, a residence, we can just add an adjective to make it better and we can write like colonial residence. So modern residences.
Mm -hmm. uh, this is basically okay. So, okay. so you suggest me that I must 